Glory to Glory 2014 is here. Apostle John Eckhart from Chicago is bringing a word from heaven. God is going to establish his rule over you through salvation and through judgment. Psalmist Abbey Slaughter is bringing down the glory of God from heaven. healing, miracles, signs, wonders, heaven on earth. Oh my, my, you don't want to miss it. Glory to glory, 2014, be there.
Bible says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace. That word perfect peace in the Hebrew is the word shalom, shalom. The translators made it perfect peace, but in the Hebrew, it is shalom, shalom, which means that there is a double shalom that can come upon your life. This also means that when the kingdom of God begins to affect your life, God wants to increase his prosperity in your life. God wants to increase his shalom in your life. God wants to increase his healing, his health, his blessing, his favor, everything about shalom. There's an increase of shalom in your life, which means that the kingdom of God that is in you is designed to increase. It means that the shalom of heaven is designed to increase, which means you should have more shalom now than you had last year. You should have more shalom today than you had two years ago. You should have more shalom, more favor, more prosperity, more, more, more blessing, more peace, more joy. You should have more today than you had 10 years ago. The shalom of God should continue to increase in your life. This is where the, the way the kingdom operates. The kingdom of God always begins very small. It begins like a mustard seed. That's what Jesus said. It's like a seed, but it begins to grow. The kingdom of God within it is a dynamic of fruitfulness, abundance, growth, and increase. It's designed to increase, which means you should see more increase in your life and believe God for more increase in your life than you've ever believed before. Don't be satisfied with staying on the same level. I don't think you all hear me today. Don't be satisfied with saying, well, I've got enough. God wants to increase his power, his yes. glory, his anointing, his favor, his health, his healing, his peace, his prosperity, his blessing in your life. And it's not just so you can just have more, but the more you have, the more you can bless somebody else. And that God doesn't want to give you increase just so you can get fat. No, God wants to give you increase uh, so you can be a blessing. He told Abraham, I will bless you and make you a blessing. So the more shalom I have in my life, uh, the more shalom uh, I can release in my city. The more shalom uh, I can release in the lives of those uh, who have no shalom. Uh, the more peace, the more prosperity, the more favor that is in my life, uh, the more I can bless the nations. Uh, the more I can bless the poor. The more I can bless the sick. Uh, the more I can bless the demonizer. Uh, the more I can bless the loss. When God increases his shalom in your life, there's an overflow. There's an abundance. The Bible says he anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. 